bringing the people behind our food to life. Classical plant breeding is essentially the process of selecting from the phenotype in its natural environment or in the environment of intended use. And the phenotype is the expression of the plant. I, nobody can see the genotype of this plant, but anyone can see the phenotype. And the phenotype is the plant uh, and its unique genetics as acted upon by the environment. Seed breeding. It's basically uh, taking the process of evolution and turning it into a more controlled process. Even back in Darwin's day, before the term evolution had been coined, people were regularly breeding animals, pigeons, plants, uh, for farm and for the garden, actually. And it's really a process whereby you look at a plant, you decide what you like, you decide what's functional for you uh, as a gardener or as a farmer, and then you select it. It is basically uses what would appear to be a very simple process, selection, that creates very complex results. And it's three things that's, that are behind the whole process of plant breeding. Uh, observation, understanding of the environment, and then selection of the form that best fits the environment. Farmers were very good at this in previous times because they knew the fields so well and they knew the plants so well. It was only natural that farmers would select seed from the plants that grew the best in the anticipation that what grew best this year will grow best next year. Over time, this process essentially creates forms that are more ideally suited to their environment than a form that was not selected by anyone or anything for that environment. Plant breeding in modern times uh, began to change when we began to realize that the traits within plants and animals were not really fluid. There was a time when it was conceived of as a sort of a fluid, the traits were fluid and, and you could, could add and subtract them just like you would add fluids to making a mixture uh, of a drink or something like that. But Gregor Mendel was the first one who figured out that actually they're more like particles, that the units of inheritance were were defined and they weren't liquid and they came in units and they didn't have the, the word then but we now call these genes. Um, and it was 25 years between the time Gregor Mendel, the gardening priest, and his work was finally published by a Dutch horticulturist in about 1900. And once horticulturalists realized that there were dominant traits and recessive traits and that, there, and that these traits could be uh, manipulated in that way, that's when modern plant breeding actually began. It was only about a hundred years ago. It's hard for people to realize, but that's when we actually first crystallized the ideas of how to do plant breeding.